Today, I'm going to show you how to connect from QGIS 3 to a PostGIS database. As the first thing, we are going to create a new user, a new database, and set up a connection into QGIS. After that, we are going to load some shapefile in the database itself. So, let's do it. Let's create a new project in QGIS and take a look to this browser here. We have the PostgreSQL name here. If you right click it and click new connection, you can set up a new connection to PostGIS. But we need some details and we could connect using the default and the Postgres user, but it's it's really a bad idea. So let's go to pgadmin4 before doing anything here in QGIS. If you don't have a PostGIS setup working in your machine, you could uh, take a look to the previous tutorial about setting up a PostGIS instance using Docker. So I assume everything is working, on your side, if not, leave me a comment. So let's move to pgadmin4. The URL is the same than that we were using in the previous episode. So the server is already configured. So let's expand this tab here on the left and let's right click on the postgis name and do create. A login group role. So let's create a QJS user. Let's name it QJS. And as password we set QJS2. Obviously, this is an example, so uh, just uh, use the a solid password here. Uh, in the privileges tab, click can login. Everything else can be set as it is. And the other tabs are OK, so click Save. Now we have a new user here that's, that is able to log in to our Postgre. The next thing to do is to create a new database. So click, right click on Databases and create Database. The database name will be QJS. This is just an example. The important thing is to set the owner and the user we, we create, just created, so QJS. And then the definition tab is almost OK if you are using the default uh, settings. And there is nothing left to do here. So click Save and we get our QJS database created. So the next thing to do is to create an extension to this database. So right click on QJS, create an extension, and from the drop down, just scroll or type PostGIS. Click save. Perfect. In uh, PG admin, we have done everything. So let's go back to to QJS. Again, in the browser, if you don't have a browser, open it using View uh, Panels Browser. So I have it, so no pro not a problem. PostgreSQL, new connection. As a name, I'll call it localhost docker. The host will be localhost. The port will be a little different than the default because we have changed it in the settings. So it's uh, the 54.34 and the database will be QJS. Here you can add an authentication configuration. So it's actually stored in QJS and this is the suggested, mo suggested mode if you have uh, plenty of uh, connection in QJS, so the password is inside a, a vault, a solid secure vault. Otherwise, you can use basic or you can just 
do nothing. So if you click test connection, you'll be you will be asked for a password and the username. So the password and the username is now QJS QJS. Okay. And I click OK. And the connection to localhost Docker was successful. This is OK. So here we can set something that is really useful, for instance, to only look on the public schema and to allow saving loading QGIS project in the database and um, the meta layer metadata data in the database too. I don't like it, so just click OK. OK, now we have an empty database here, a database connection. So the a nice thing is to, to do is to load data into it. To do this, we can use the database manager, which is under database on the menu. So click database menu and DB manager. And then here you have some providers. If you expand the PostGIS, here is PostGIS, here instead is PostgreSQL, but it's almost the same. So click localhost docker and click public as you can see you have some table here and actually we are gonna load a shapefile of italy but you can use uh, whatever shapefile you want so click import layer file click input select the file you want here uh, we are gonna load a uh, web mercator reference of italy let's rename the table to italy in the schema public if you don't know what the schema is uh, it's just a namespace for the tables um, leave me a comment if you want to me to do a video about um, the key concept of uh, postgresql and sql in general and the options are in this case okay maybe we want to create a special index so it's faster to retrieve data to create data let's click ok ok import was successful now if you expand again the public namespace you will see italy as table you this is a table the owner is qgis it has one page and an estimation of 20 lines, 20 actually. So the, the privilege you have, the special reference, and the kind of geometry it has, the column geometry. Close the database manager, and now, as you can see here on the left, you have Italy under the public namespace, the public database here. Double click, and here is Italy. So you can actually do whatever you want, like it, it is a normal ship file. So you can query, you can select, you can edit. And this is the basics of how to work with Postgre and uh, QJS together. So thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe to never miss an update and uh, see you next.